A man who helped stop the shooting at Club Q is going to lead the Pride Parade down in Colorado Springs this year. Rich Fierro was all about building inclusive spaces before that shooting, and he defended one with his life that night. The LGBTQ community in the Springs now sees him as a hero. He sat down with our Mark Salinger. A 1985 El Camino sits outside a brewery in Colorado Springs. I love it, It's but it was what I had in high school. Soon, so that was my it'll goal. lead a parade. We already know what we're gonna decorate with. I already bought the stuff, I'm like ready to go. But having them put Grand Marshal on the thing is going to be kind of wild. So Rich Fierro yeah, never asked to be in this position. The Army veteran helped stop the shooter accused of killing five people at Club Q last November. Now he'll be the Grand Marshal in the first Pride Fest parade in Colorado Springs since the tragedy. For a community to ask me, a straight dude, to be a Grand Marshal in a Pride Parade, it touched my heart and my wife and daughters. And it was the only time I cried when somebody asked me to do something. It was such a common, like we were all of a sudden I was part of a family, right? Rich was at Club Q with friends and family. His daughter's boyfriend, Raymond Green Vance, was killed. Six months later, and far from the memorial, Pride is part of the recovery. For me, it's just a blessing to have to have a community that's that open and accepting of people, regardless of who they are, it's more about action. For uh, the Grand Marshal Magnet. We really thought that, you know, what better way to like honor, honor him and, you know, honor what he's done for the community and, and just how brave he is, is to be like the Grand Marshal for our parade. This year, celebrating pride balances with honoring the lives lost at Club Q. Holly Nip and Johnny Tippetts are on the team organizing it. I'm expecting a whole spectrum of emotions, and I think most prides bring that, but I think that intensity is going to be elevated this year. You can put stuff in the front or your banners back here. At the front of the pride parade, the El Camino will be ready, driven by a man chosen to lead. And I hope it's a celebration of, of perseverance. This person tried to stop people from being who they are, and they're going to show who they are on this event, right? Everything Colorado Springs Pride Fest organizers are doing this year for Pride is with the victims of Club Q in mind, along with their families. We're at a planning meeting yesterday where they talked about running every little detail by the families of the victims to make sure that they are okay with it. Kyle, we're told that there's going to be tributes throughout mm -hmm. the weekend for all the survivors of Club Q as well as the victims. When you think about how Colorado Springs has changed, both in reputation and in action, to come from the city that drove the measure that got us called the hate state to now where it is today, a lot of it's because there are people like Rich and others who have made conscious efforts to change the way the city operates and feels. Exactly. So we met Rich yesterday at Atrevita Beer Company, which is the brewery that he owns down in the Springs, and their kind of catchphrase, their motto is diversity is on tap. He was telling me that's not a new thing. They've yeah. lived that throughout you know, the decades of their lives. Now it's just coming to show everybody that that's the type of guy he is. Yeah, and and we should note that's the kind of city it now is for a lot They're of folks. Expecting down there. the most people that they've ever had at Pride Fest in Colorado wow. Springs this year. All right, Mark, thank you.